Hello, what's up guys? This is Sohan and you are watching Technical Spark. In our Train Micro series, today I am going to cover backup procedure of our Deep Security Manager. So if you are not sure how to backup your Deep Security Manager, like whether it could be your registry, directory or database, so no issue guys. In this video, I will tell you exactly what data you need in backup process so that if anything goes wrong with your Deep Security Manager, then later you can easily restore your Deep Security Manager step by step and at the end of video I will also show you how you can restore your Deep Security Manager as in disaster recovery. Friends there are two to three ways to backup your Deep Security Manager. Very first thing is you can completely backup your Deep Security Manager and SQL database server so that a restore process will be very much easier. Second thing you can manually backup your Deep Security Manager along with your system restore point so that in the disaster recovery you will be able to use same host name. And the third one which is I am going to show you that is with the help of backup but in this situation when you perform the disaster recovery you will need to provide different host name to your I mean your deep security manager server because existing host name you won't be able to use. Now without further discussion let me show you practically how you can take a backup of your deep security manager but before that one small intro video. <laughs> Welcome back guys, very first login to our Deep Security Manager console, enter your admin credential. Once you logged in, go to the events and reports and here export all the events which you required like for last hour, last 7 days, last 24 hours or custom range and then click on export. Similar way you can export all the required events for anti-malware, web reputation, application control, integrity, log inspection, firewall and many more. And once you are done with exporting all the events which is required, go to the computers and export this computer history as well. Like how many agents are currently installed with a deep security agent. Once you are done, simply sign out. Close the browser. Now open your SQL Server Management Studio. So here is mine. Log in with your SA or any admin credential into your database. Once you logged in, expand the database tab and here is my database if you are in multi-tenant environment then you will find multiple child database below this like dsm1 2 likewise it's completely dependent on how many multi-tenant uh, account you have but currently we don't have any multi-tenant account so we'll back up our primary dsm server additionally before you back up your deep security manager just go to the security logins and validate all the account which you are having in my case, currently I have only SA which is mixed account and then administrator which is my domain account with full permission. So in your case, you can also note down all the accounts which is currently configured in your Deep Security Manager. Once noted, go back to your Deep Security Manager, right click, go to the task and select backup. Now provide the place where exactly you want to save the backup. So in my case, I am going to save the backup in this particular directory. Let me open that for you. Go to this PC, C drive, program files, Microsoft SQL Server, SQL 15, MS SQL, and now backup. So, this is where my default path, where my data based backup is going to be saved with the name of dsm.back. If you want any different path, then you can add it just by clicking on add and browse your specific path and remove this existing one since we are going to keep the default now let's select the database name so mine is dsm that is fine backup type will be full by default is ticked that is fine and we are going to take the backup on our disk so everything is selected perfectly go to the media option backup the existing media set up into the existing backup set perfect verify backup when finished tick mark this go to the backup option which is third option set backup compression so for now I am going with the use the default server settings. The preferred option is compress backup but in setup backup compression the preferred option is compress backup but this is also gets covered into this which is use the default server setting. And once everything is verified click on general and select ok. Our backup process has been started. See at the back end I can see there is one file is created currently 2.3 GB. Meanwhile, database backup is in progress. Guys, let me tell you, 
in deep security manager you don't need to backup any deep security manager installation folder because everything is all your policy configurations your manager server everything are getting backed up with the help of this database so no other backups are required as i said previously so now you decide in which way you want to backup your deep security manager out of those three options which i said so my database backup is completed successfully click on ok and here is the database 2.3 gb now all your work is done the only thing is you will need to verify which version of sql server you have installed so mine is sql server express and the version is 15.0.2005 note all the changes and you are done click ok close your sql server management studio and done friends you have successfully backed up your deep security manager now copy this file to one of the safe location or on the server where you want to perform the disaster recovery and if you want to know more like how to perform the disaster recovery then please click on the i button or check out the disaster recovery link in my video description where i have completely explained step by step how to perform the disaster recovery friends now i hope you have completely understood that how you can back up your deep security manager server step by step if you found this video knowledgeable then please click on the like button and don't forget to share this link with your friends and colleague friends if you are new to my channel then please don't forget to subscribe this channel for more amazing interesting video click on the bell icon so that whenever i upload new video you will be very first to notify that's it in this video this is sohan signing out